Hello, my name is Jorge Orcasitas. I am a project manager here at Spectrum Health in what we call the digital portfolio. Essentially, mobile applications, web applications, uh, anything digital in that sense. So what I do as a project manager, primarily, if I had to boil it down, is coordinate with a lot of people. Um, what it takes to build a mobile app uh, or a web application involves a series of developers, business analysts for gathering requirements for us, uh, quality assurance, essentially the testers that make sure that what we built is working, uh, and then coordinating with our customer. Uh, in Spectrum Health's case, a lot of time our customer is the business itself. Um, so as an example, say we wanted to build a video app for patients so that they can have a visit with their provider, say in the off hours, they have a headache late at night, what have you. Um, so I would come in and what I would help is there's three main things as a project manager that you kind of keep track of is how much is it going to cost, uh, when is it going to de be delivered, and what is it, what does it look like. So again, what is it, what does it look like, I work with a business analyst or a team of business analysts to figure out what that is, how are we going to do it, we have very uh, expert developers here that pick the different technologies, how is it going to be built. Um, and then the estimation for the cost is, again, working with all these people, getting an estimate, putting it together, and really developing that plan. What does it take for us to create this product? So now that we have a plan in place, we know how much it's going to cost, we know how long it's going to take, we know how we're going to build it, we figured everything out that needs to happen and how it needs to work. Well, sometimes that doesn't always go according to plan. Um, so say that we determined a video technology that we're using might not fit our needs exactly like it should. And the way that the developers thought they were going to implement it or kind of hook into it has changed. Uh, well, that kind of puts our project at risk. The timeline, now we're, now we're being told by the devs, hey, we need a little bit more time. This isn't exactly what we thought or what we were told. Uh, so now the project has changed. How would you, how would you handle that? So uh, much like uh, our personal lives, actually, uh, say you wanted to hang out at a friend's house and it turns out that their parents now are saying, no, you can't have your friends over. Uh, that changes your plan. So you figure out maybe you go to someone else's house, maybe you go to the park, who knows, or a family vacation uh, and your car breaks down on the way to, I don't know, Disneyland, right? Uh, it's a Sunday, you can no longer get there. You have to start having conversations around how to adapt to that okay, maybe we'll be going to less rides, or maybe we need to get tickets only for two of the parks that are there. Uh, and much in that way is what you do when, in project management, uh, certain things change, like the timeline, we need a little bit more time. So what do we do? We sit down with developers in this case, um, you know, they're saying they need more time, understand how much more, what that might look like. Uh, I pull together different um, areas of our customers or our business, hey, this is what happened. Uh, and much like with any problem that exists, uh, really you start talking about it, start coming up with options. Maybe we have to start negotiating, hey, what are the highest priority items? We want to make sure that we hit on those first. We'll put these lower ones down below to see how we're doing. But the fact of the matter is there's a problem. We need a little bit more time. Let's talk about it.